Hi kids! Today we will learn about workforce and energy. So let's start. Let's see what is work. To most people, work means making food, doing your schoolwork, cleaning home, or washing clothes, etc. But in science, Work has a different meaning. Example, when someone is swimming, he is using force to push the water. His hands and feet push water back to make him move forward. Both pushing strokes and the water move in the backward direction. So the swimmer is working hard to swim. Another example, look at this picture. A boy is trying to push a heavy box across the room. His muscles are working hard, but he couldn't push hard enough to move the box. In science, we say that the boy has not done any work, although he has applied force on the box. But the swimmer has done some work because he was successful in forcing the water backward and moving himself forward. Let's have a look at another example. Here, this girl is pushing a small box and she is able to move this box across the room. So, she has done some work. Here is another example. Here, the boy is pushing against the wall. He is applying a lot of force, but the wall is not going anywhere. So no work has been done because the position of wall does not change here. So the work is said to be done when the force applied on an object is able to move the object in the direction in which force is applied. Let's see some more examples. If you are helping to push a car and the car moves in the direction of the applied force, you are doing work. And if the car doesn't move at all, you have not done any work at all, no matter how much force you applied to the car. Let's learn what is the relation between force and work. The more force you use to move something, the more work you do. The harder you push, the farther and faster the object will move. Now, let's learn what is the relation between work and energy. We know if we apply force, only then some work is done. But to exert force, we need energy. So, energy produces force, and force in turn produces work. Now, let's learn about energy. We need energy to apply force to do any work. For example, if you want to go up the stairs, you need energy to apply force and climb up the stairs. If you want to ride a bicycle for that too, you need energy to apply force on the paddles and run a bicycle. So you need energy to apply any kind of force and then only you can do any work. Now, let's learn what is the definition of energy in science. In science, we say, Energy is the capacity to do work. You can work less than your parents or anyone who is elder to you because they have more energy than you or more capacity to do work than you. So energy means capacity to do any work. Why do we eat food? 
We eat food to get energy to live, run, work, play, dance, study, or practically doing any work. We are using energy when we are doing anything. If we come home back after a long cycling or playing in the park with our friends, we feel hungry. It's because our energy is used while doing anything. And playing, swimming, or any physical activity consumes our energy. Nothing can happen without energy. Energy is used in different ways and in different forms by different things. Let's see some examples. A torch gets energy from the battery. Why the light of a torch goes weak when it uses all the energy stored in its battery. A car gets energy to run from petrol or diesel. A car has to be filled with petrol if it has to run. All living things need proper food to obtain energy, to carry out various activities. Now let's learn forms of energy. There are many forms of energy, and all forms of energy are capable of doing some work. A special property of energy is that it can be changed from one form to another. We can convert one form of energy into another by suitable instruments. For example, washing machine. Electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy for washing clothes. We ourselves are converting the energy stored in food into mechanical energy. In whatever work we do, we are converting the energy stored in food molecules, that is, the chemical energy, into mechanical energy. There are different forms of energy. Muscular energy, heat energy, electrical energy, wind energy, solar energy, chemical energy, and many more. We will learn about different forms of energy in our next assignment. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.